Her real name is in Rosa Cosette Delis, and she likes Osia. That's right, in this episode of the Ace Combat Lore, we'll be talking about the story behind everyone's favorite waifu, the Princess of Arusia, and how she went from an ordinary person to become part of the Arusian royal family and entrusted her country into another war. This video covered the events mentioned in the Aces at War book, which is primarily focused in the events prior to Ace Combat 7. With that said, let's dive into the lore. Throughout the 20th century, Arusia was a kingdom known for its brutality, war and expansionist policies in the Asian continent. Arusia was able to conquer the Duchy of Shilaji, the Republic of Voslaj and some other territories in Asia, essentially making Arusia the Belka of Asia, except with less radiation. Now the king of Arusia was ruling like if he was going for a domination victory in civilization. His warmonger penalty was so high that when he was losing the war, his own people started a revolution that took down the monarchy. Now you may see a lot of similarities between Arusia and France, especially by the name of the people, but the members of the Arusian royal family were able to keep their heads, if you know what I mean. And so the king and his children went to the civilian life and apparently did really well as businessmen. And by the way, the Aces at War book doesn't say when Arusia lost this war, but it would be somewhere in the 70s or 80s. I say that in order to match with old man Mihai's age, because he was almost certainly involved in that war, as I mentioned in my previous episode on Mihai's backstory that you can watch right here. In the end, the Erujians removed the monarchy and made Arusia into a federal republic, and so everyone thought that from there on, everything would be a sea of roses. Well, it turns out that there was this space boy called Ulysses 1994XF04 asteroid that was bound to hit Strangedro, including Arusia. Although there were some successful attempts of intercepting the fragments of the asteroid, some of them slipped through and Arusia got hit pretty hard. How hard? Probably worse than the seven Belkan nukes, because this time, actual cities were hit, including Yellow 13's hometown, which implies all his family died in a blink of an eye. Several asteroid craters can still be seen in Arusia today, but by far the most famous of them all is the Laker crater located in downtown Farbanti, the capital of Arusia. During the fall of the asteroids in 1999, the Arusian royal palace, together with its gardens which were centuries old, were destroyed in the process. Because of the total destruction of the royal buildings and the flooding of the city center, a skyscraper that was not damaged temporarily became the royal palace. Years later, construction of a new royal palace began in the outskirts of Farbanti, which was remarkable by its red tile roof and lots of greenery. And by the way, I flew like crazy in free flight and I didn't find this new royal palace. The citizens of Farbanti thought that this new royal palace was funny because it was remarkably similar to Ocean theme parks, thus implying Ocean has its own version of Disneyland. So with the destruction caused by the fragments of Ulysses, thousands of refugees started pouring into Arusia in the early 2000s. The neighboring countries forced Arusia to take more refugees when Arusia wasn't really feeling like it. It was around this time in 2001 that Rosa was born. With the neighboring countries threatening economic sanctions, if Arusia did not take in more refugees, the Arusian government turned in full fascists and started the whole blitzkrieg thing, taking the asteroid intercepting railgun Stonehenge, flying Sukhoi jets because they are obviously evil, and storing them in tunnels before it was cool. That was the beginning of the Continental War, the one from Ace Combat 4. Arusia's war effort was going really well until the enemy coalition, the ISAF, drew a pentagram with its arrow blades and invoked the lore and savior of Stranger, Mobius I, who used 0.118% of his power to defeat Arusia. The war officially ended in 2005 when ISAF forces captured the city of Farbanti and the Arusian forces surrendered. In the aftermath, the fascist government lost its legitimacy and was replaced by the monarchy in the hopes that the monarchy would bring more prosperity and peace. By this time, that warmonger of a king had passed away and the new king of Arusia was one of his grandchildren, a wealthy businessman that according to the accounts, didn't really look like a king. The king ended up dying, but he didn't have any children, so his younger brother took the throne. At least he had plenty of children so that the Russian people didn't worry too much if he died because the royal family could continue on. And no, Rosa was not the daughter of this king. 
Speaking of Rosa, this is the setting on how her side story in the Aces at War book begins. But the story is actually narrated by Rosa's school friend Ionella, who was Mihai's granddaughter. Now, believe it or not, but at school Rosa went with a different name, Rosie. She preferred that nickname because she really enjoyed Ocean movies and so she wanted to be called by an Ocean name. And by the way, Rosa's full name at that time when she was still a pleb was Rosa Cosette Falcinelli. She apparently had a good life and she lived close to the Memorial Peace Park. Her father was a tailor who made the suits to the Erujian king and so they were presumably in good financial position and most importantly, Rosa already had her doggo. As I mentioned before, she really enjoyed watching the Ocean movies and then one day she had the idea to make a choir club at her school with her friends, especially Ionella, because Rosa, I mean Rosie, really liked singing, probably due to the Ocean subversive propaganda through movies like High School Musical, chanting all Balkan war crimes. The next time she went to school, she went to the teacher's office to request a music room and a piano. At that moment, the vice principal yelled at her with a different name, calling her Rosa Cosette Delis and telling her to go home immediately. Rosa was initially confused as to why people switched her last name Falcinelli with Delise. Now it turns out that the TV in the teacher's room was turned on and all news stations were showing the same news. Royal family dies in car accident. And when I say royal family, it was everyone, the king, the queen and all the children. This was when Ionella finally realized why Rosa's father made the suits for the Erosion King. It wasn't because he was the best tailor in the country, but because Rosa's father was the cousin of the Erosion King, and by that logic, he would be the next person to assume the throne and thus making Rosie the next person in the line of succession. Now obviously you can't have someone in the royal family going with a foreign sounding name, so that's when Rosa's Ocean nickname died and when she adopted the royal surname Delise. After learning the news, the vice principal got his car and gave Rosa a ride to her house. Rosa and Ionella didn't talk for a long time because Rosa stopped attending school to learn and perform all her duties as she was part of a royal family by now. Although Rosa grew up to lead her country, she and presumably her father, the king, didn't have much political power or support in Erugia. The royal family was manipulated into declaring war against Osea because a certain faction of the Erugian military was very angry due to Osea's military presence in the continent, the construction of the International Space Elevator, and at the same time, they were very confident on their new mass-produced drones powered by Balkan technology. During the early stages of the war, Osea bombed the school that Rosa used to attend and at the same time killed several of her school friends. Due to these Ocean strikes, the government leaders fled to the city outskirts while the new royal palace that was being built was destroyed by Ocean bombing. In order to eliminate the little opposition that the royal family still had against the war, a revolutionary army also known as the Radicals plotted the assassination of the royal family and the rest is what you see in Ace Combat 7. Hope you have enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about waifu number one in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this video because that helps a lot and if you're interested in some cool merch like t-shirts, mugs, notebooks and more, check the link in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.